Hi everyone, Terry here. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I have another haul tonight and it's um, it's a mixture of a few different tines because I have so many things to show and it would take too many videos. Anyway, I just thought I would mix some of the better things that I got. Um, and mo all the ones that I'm going to show you are from here where I live. So, and, uh, I would say they're from Goodwill, um, Mission Thrift Store, and Value Village. Anyway, here we go. So, the first thing I want to show you is this box of cards that I got from, uh, Goodwill. I believe it was $4. Yes, $4. And it's like a stationary box and it's full of stationary it's got some mickey mouse and a few cards envelopes and then there's some more stationary underneath so i'll be able to use that look at this pretty one that's the roses very nice oh this matches the box actually so that's nice and then it's got a little drawer with more envelopes but not only will I be able to use the stationery and the envelopes I'll be able to use the box to store maybe cards or notepads or something and it's very pretty and then these labels that I got these ones are from Value Village there was a set of three for $3.99 this is uh, business cards and these are mailing labels you can always use labels for anything basically it doesn't have to be used just for mailing right and then this these are return address labels and they were also from Value Village at a different time for $2.99 also from Value Village was all this material for $3.99 and it's all cottons this is hearts and then it had all these um, quilt patches already made up look how pretty that is that'd be a nice pocket and then all these ones and then some more material here this one is like feels like it's like a material that you would make a p pillow out of or something very nice I have a question for you ladies when you buy secondhand material such as this from a thrift store or flea market or um, an antique store do you wash it first before you use it? I'm just curious because I don't know whether the washing takes away from the strength of the pat, the material or I'm not sure. I mean, you're not using it to wear, so I don't know whether you need to wash it or not. Just curious. You can leave just a comment in the comment section just to let me know how you go about using material. And then another thing from Value Village for $3.99 was all these postcards. And I see a lot of people that use postcards in their junk journals. I myself have been collecting postcards for many, many years. And I love postcards. So I'll probably use these ones in my junk journals because um, that's what I bought them for. Some of the special ones I'll keep for my collection. And then a couple of other things. This was in a bag from Value Village. You know how it all comes a bunch of things in one bag. And it's just a it's a clear rubber stamp with remember. It'll be good for journaling. And then I got these two calendars. They're um, Norman Rockwell paintings. The Saturday Evening Post and both these calendars were for 50 cents so 25 cents each not bad they're from 2009 yes 2009 
and they all have a they both have Norman Rockwell paintings in them. So I love Norman Rockwell, his paintings. So I'll be able to use those and I got two, so that's good. And then I got all these books. I think they're all from um, Mission Thrift Store. A little golden book. Uh, a, do a beginner book, Dr. Seuss books. I've been looking for these ones lately because um, I just thought it would be interesting to make journals out of these. But they're really hard to find. And I got a reader. At, this one was from Goodwill. So I know people use those. I've never found a Dick and Jane, but then I don't know if Dick and Jane was taught in the Can Canadian schools because... I had my primary class grades in, in the States, so I don't know. And then I got a couple more of the Dr. Seuss ones. I didn't notice until after I bought that this was all chewed up. But, so, I can either just maybe put some lace here or something and use the, the cover. But I can use the pictures. Now, I think I've this is my... I have one of these for in my personal collection and then I believe I bought another one last year for junk journaling and then I have this one now so I'll probably keep one and then here's another the foot book look at the the difference in sizes so the bigger one is from Oh, it's taped up, so it's... Oh, I believe it's missing some pages. There's no copyright date in it. So I'll definitely have to use that. I mean, it's missing pages, so... This one... I don't have my glasses, excuse me. <laughs> Getting old. Uh, 1960. So, I don't know. Oh, renewed 1988. It looked too good to be uh, from 1960, but. And then I got uh, your pet book. I do plan on making a book about uh, dogs and cats. So, some nice pictures in here of values and a Beauty and the Beast. So this one, I'll be able to use this. I make like I said before. I'm making a Disney World junk journal, but I'm also making a princess Disney princess junk journal as well. And I'm thinking of giving that to my granddaughter because she does like to write. I also got these cards. So I'm thinking these are from the Salvation Army. So this is um, they're different, eh? Black and white on one side, and red and blue, and pink and blue. Those are Reader Rabbit cards. And then I got this Cranium card game. Oh, not even open. So I've seen where people have used um, game cards in their journals. So uh, we can always, and it came with a timer, I can always use that. So maybe I'll use those. And then the last thing for this video is at Goodwill, I found these bridge tally cards. Well, actually, not tally cards. Score pads. And then this last pile is also all from Value Village. This came together for $3.99. It's a scrapbook set. 
it had this uh, cardstock paper, purple and pink and lime green. They're not colors I would have bought on my if I had went to Michaels to buy them, but they're in the package, so they will get used. I assure you. And then the stickers, letter stickers with some wording, some sentiments. Fall, they look like they have the fall colors. Autumn, fall. And then all these stickers came with, with it. So $3.99 for the paper, the stickers, all these stickers. And it comes with, came with a princess set. So um this can go in the disney journal i'm making and also the princess one it's got the the cinderella's castle there well i don't know if it's really cinderella's castle but it sure looks like it so and some of them are glittery and some aren't and then so got all these stickers and then the last thing i got was this ledger book for a dollar 99 and it's a nice size one eight columns and uh, all unused and I'm going to coffee dye some of them or tea dye them and then of course leave some blank so I will be, I'll be glad to get this I have, haven't found too many ledger books so anyway thank you for stopping by i really 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 do appreciate it it means a lot to me that you would take time out of your busy day to spend with me and all my stuff i bought anyway uh thank you have a wonderful night please hit the like icon for me and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much enjoy your weekend bye now